So you may not be able to tell just from looking at me, I really like mini PCs. My favorite thing about mini PCs are they're really inexpensive. They come with laptop components, but because you don't have a screen or a keyboard or trackpad, it's just a lot less expensive than a laptop. And they're way less bulky than desktops. It's just a lot easier to put this on your desk and set it up. And if you need to upgrade components, a lot of these make it really easy. Like you can just pop the top off and make whatever upgrade you want. To help me determine what mini PCs are the best, I actually put together a spreadsheet. I went over dozens of listings in Amazon for mini PCs so I could set prices for different features so that I could tell which mini PCs are a good deal and which are not. So I've been able to figure out which mini PCs currently are the best deal for what you need. And at the end of this video, I will let you know which mini PC is best for you. I would put mini PCs into three different categories. The first category would be single use. That's something like this Raspberry Pi where you probably only use it for doing one thing so it doesn't matter if it can do a lot of things the next category i would say is multi-purpose use now that's something where you need it powerful enough that you could multitask so you could watch movies browse the internet open up documents and stuff like that but you don't need it so powerful to run games or do video editing software and the last category I would say is a computer for gaming or video editing. For this, obviously you need something a little bit beefier and a little bit more powerful to run heavy graphics. With the first category of single use mini PCs, this is something you could use for maybe if you wanted to set up something like a security camera system, or maybe you wanted to set up a firewall with PFSense, or maybe you want to do retro gaming or something like that. You've probably already heard of Raspberry Pis, and while I do think they're great, I think for most people, using a mini PC is just a lot easier. This is the GMK Tech, and I absolutely love this thing. I can't believe how inexpensive this is for what you get. It has two ethernet ports on the back two hdmi and display port so you could hook this up to three monitors if you're looking for something small or simple at a really good price this is the mini pc that i recommend as far as what i recommend for just a great all-around mini pc I recommend the Ace Magic S1. This is not a computer I've used yet, but when I calculated things on my spreadsheet, this turned out to be one of the best deals you can get. The cool thing about this is it has an LCD display on the front so you can get information about how hot it is or how much power it's using or what the load is. This won't be your most powerful mini PC, but if you're looking at something that does just about anything and is a really good price, this is the way to go. As far as the mini PCs that I have used and recommend, this Ace Magician is really nice it has a fingerprint reader on the front of it so it makes it really easy to log in so if you're looking for a computer just to replace a desktop something that you'll use every day this is fantastic it's got hdmi and display port on the back plenty of usb 3.0 and it's got usb c on the front as well this is perfect for watching movies or for opening up a browser and having a million tabs open this also does work for gaming and i have used it for video editing as well now it's not the best for gaming or video editing but you can squeak buy on it this is a little bit more than the s1 model but if you need that little bit extra power this is a great option and lastly for a gaming pc or a video editing pc i recommend the ace magic 08 pro now again i haven't actually used this mini pc but going on my spreadsheet and going off all the specs and checking it for the price for what you get this is going to be one of the best deals for a gaming pc a nice thing about this is you can easily open up the site and make upgrades that you want it's just a really beefy PC. As far as gaming PCs that I have personally used, I recommend the C-Tone PC. Now I can't actually show it in my hands because that's what I'm using right now. That is my main computer. I used to use a desktop that had much better specs, but honestly, I just don't like dealing with a desktop. I like having a mini PC on my desk because I have a standing desk. I raise it and lower it, and it's much more of a hassle with a desktop PC. I like the C-Tone because again, it's easy. You can just open up the side, make the upgrades that you need to so i was able to easily add more ram and add a couple nvmes really easy with this thing one major difference that you need to be aware of with mini pcs versus desktops you don't really find the dedicated gpus with mini pcs that you do with desktops so if you do gaming or video editing you're just never going to get the best computer possible with a mini pc but i found for me personally i do video editing every single day i just use proxy files i do have to 
wait a little bit longer for video files to render and for the proxy media to render. But that's something that honestly doesn't bother me all that much. I absolutely love mini PCs. I use it for my desktop. I have a dedicated mini PC for my laser engraver. I have a dedicated mini PC running as a server, another dedicated PC running as my firewall. There's just so many great uses for mini PCs. Now, one thing that I noticed going through all these PCs on Amazon is there's a lot of PCs that look nearly identical, but they have different branding. Now, the way that you can use this is find the PC that you like and then go to all the different sellers selling this mini PC and find one that's on sale. A lot of these mini PCs have fantastic deals like $100 off or $200 off. You can easily find a great deal just by finding one that has a coupon or something like that. I have a link to my spreadsheet below. So if you want to check out my spreadsheet so you can kind of check out how I priced different things, you're welcome to look at that and hopefully that will help you some in your decision.